While students in Coronado head to school, the district is grappling with a $2.3 million deficit. To try and balance the budget, Coronado Unified has announced upcoming layoffs. It's one of a handful of districts in the county to do so, including San Diego Unified and Grossmont Union High. Schools are having to make some tough decisions because of the bind they find themselves in. Troy Flint with California's School Board Association says this is happening across the state for much of the same reasons. A lack of COVID funding, a drop in state revenues, and declining enrollment. The overall funding picture for schools nationally, and especially in California, is worse than it's been in a long time. CUSD is a small district that includes these five schools. A spokesperson says they're laying off three clinical counselors, two program specialists, and one maintenance worker. The district is also cutting down the hours for one Spanish teacher and one school counselor. When that money goes, those positions go, and so does the positive impact of the people working in those positions on our students. Layoffs seem to be coming in all at once because state law requires districts to notify impacted staff by March 15th. This is months before they know how much state funding they'll receive for the year. Flint says this often leads districts to send out more pink slips than necessary out of precaution. The state is seeing a huge deficit this year, and so schools are hedging against that they're expecting to see some cutbacks to funding, and so they are cutting staff. Flint says this trend may continue for several years. Perla Shaheen, ABC 10 News.